Welcome. In today's lesson, we will look at conditional formatting. Let's assume that we had a business where we produce fruit juice. Okay, 100% fruit. Okay. So these are the various branches that we have and the regions that the branches are located. Okay. And then from January to December, we have the sales revenue for each month, for each branch. Okay. So for this branch, for the month of January, this is the sales revenue. Then for February, sales revenue like that. So December last year. Okay. And then for this branch also, it goes in that manner. Now to practice the conditional formatting, let me use the month of December as an example. Okay. So let's focus on December for now. Now let me select all the sales revenue under December. So to do that, I'll select the first one. Then I scroll down to the last one. Then hold on the shift key and then click on the last one so that I can select all together. Have you seen that? And then let's go to conditional formatting at the top here. You see conditional formatting. So click on the down arrow beside it. Now these are the various conditional formatting tools we have. We have the highlight cells rules, top and bottom rules, and the like. So let's go to the first one, which is highlight cells rules. Now let's come to the greater than. Okay. Then we click on it. Here, they say format cells that are greater than. So this means that when we enter a particular value here, it will format cells that are greater than that value. Now let's assume 15,000. Let's say we want to know which of our branches has a sales revenue which is more than 15,000 in the month of December. Okay. So we write 15,000 here. Let's give it a particular fill color. So I want to make it green. Then I click OK. So you see that the sales revenue that are more than 15,000 have been highlighted with green. Have you seen that? Then let's go back to the conditional formatting. Then let's go to the highlight sales rules. Then let's go to the less than. Then we click on it. Now when we click on the less than, let's also set that. We want to know those branches that make sales revenue which is less than 10,000 cities. So let's make it 10,000. Let's leave this as red. Then we click OK. So those that make less than 10,000 CDs should be highlighted with red. Have you seen? Then let's go back to the conditional formatting again. Let's go to highlight cells rules. Then we go to between. Okay. Click on it. Now this is how the between one works. For this one, it will highlight cells that are between some particular value and some particular value. I can decide to make the ones that are between 10,000 and 15,000 different color. So let me make this 10,000 and 15,000. So let me give it a different color. Let me make it yellow. So we click OK. So when you look at this, you see that the ones that are between 10,000 and 15,000 are yellow. They have yellow fur color. But the ones that are more than 15,000 have green fur color. And the ones that are less than 10,000 have red fur color. Have you seen that? Now let's go back to conditional formatting. Then we go down to clear rules. Then we click on clear rules from selected cells. That means that I want to clear the formatting I've applied right now. So if you want to clear a particular format, you can come to clear rules from selected cells or from entire sheet. Now for the clear rules from selected cells, it will only apply to the cells you've selected. But if you choose clear rules from entire sheet, it will apply to the entire sheet. Okay. So let me click on clear rules from selected cells. So you see that it's gone. Now let's try another rules. So let's go back to conditional formatting. Then we go to highlight cells rules. Then let's go to equal to. Let's click on it. Now for the equal to, it only highlights cells that are equal to a particular value. So let's say 15,000. 15,000. So let's make it maybe, um, let's say red text. And click OK. So you see that the one that is exactly 15,000, it makes it red text. Have you seen that? Then let's go back to conditional formatting. Let's clear the rule. Okay. So we can clear the rule. You see that. Now to try the next one, let's come to the region. Now let's select the region. So after selecting the first one, you can scroll down and then hold the shift key and click on the last to select them together. Now let's go to conditional formatting. Then let's go to highlight cells rules. Then we go down to text 
that contains now for this one we are going to set it as you highlight the cell that contains some particular text so you see this one ashanti so it has highlighted all the ones that are ashanti with red so if you are okay with that color you just click okay if you make it text that contain data data even without typing the entire data occur, any text that contains the word greater, it will highlight you with the particular color you set for it. Okay. So you can try that for the other regions as well. But let me cancel it, then we go to the next one. Let's go back to the conditional formatting. Then we go to highlight cells rules. Then we go down to a date or period. For this one, we apply it to date, so you can try it and see. Then let's go to the next one, which is duplicate value. So let's click on it. This is how it works. It will highlight the ones that are duplicate. When I click on this arrow and then I choose on unique, it will only show me the ones that are unique. Okay. Let me click OK for the unique and let's see if there's any unique region in it. Uh -huh. This region is unique. I mean, it only appears once. Okay. And then this one, Bono, it only appears once. Then Northern, only one. And that means the rest are not unique. I Meaning we have more than one greater Akka, we have more than one Ashanti, we have more than one Volta and the likes. Now let's go back to the conditional formatting. Then we go to clear rules. So let's clear the rules. Now let's select the sales figure for the month of May. So we select the first one. Then we go down and then hold on the shift key and click on the last. Then let's go to conditional formatting. Then we go down to top and bottom rules. So we come to this top 10. Okay, so let's click on the top 10. Now, when we click on the top 10, you can actually change the figure. If you want top 15 or top 3, but let's use top 10. Now, let's go to the color and then make it green. Then we click OK. It will highlight the top 10 sales revenue for the month of May. Have you seen that? Then let's go back to the conditional formatting again. Then we go to top bottom rules. Then we go down to bottom 10 item. So let's click on it. This one, let's use the red then we click ok so this one will highlight the bottom 10 sales revenue for the month of may have you seen that so let's go back to the conditional formatting then we go to top bottom rules then we go to top 10 percent now there's a difference between top 10 items and top 10 percent you see the difference now for the top 10 items it will highlight the top 10 but for the top 10 percent let's click on it Let's make it green. Then we click OK. For this one to understand it, let's look at something. How many branches do we have from this place? Okay. When we count from this branch downward to the last, you will get 40 branches. Okay. Now we have 40 branches, right? Now find 10% of 40. 10% of 40 will give you what? 4. Right? 10% of 40 will give you 4. 10% of 40 means 10 over 100 times 40. It will give you 4. So that means that top 4, that's the meaning. Or if you say top 5%, 5% of 40 will be 2. So that means top 2 items. Since 10% of 40 is 4, that means top 4 items. You see that it's only highlighted 4 items. Have you seen that? We've been. Then let's go back to conditional formatting. Then we go to top rules. Then we go to bottom 10%. So let's leave it as red. Then we click OK. So bottom 10% also will be four items. Have you seen that? So let's go back to conditional formatting. Let's clear the cell rules. Then let's go back to conditional formatting again. Let's go to top bottom rules. Then we also check this. Above average. Now let's click on above average. So let's set it as green. So the ones that are above average, it will set them as green. Okay. Then let's go back to conditional formatting. Then let's go to top rules. Then we go to below average. So the ones that are below average, let's leave them as red. It will compute the average sales revenue for all the sales figure for me. And then the ones that are above the average, it will highlight them with the color you set. And the ones that are below average, it will highlight them with the color you set as well. Okay. Then let's go back to the conditional formatting and then let's clear the rules. Now let's try another one. Let's go to conditional formatting. Then we go to data bars. This is how data bar works. Add a colored data bar to represent the value in a cell. The higher the value, the longer the bar. 
So you can choose either of them, okay? Let me choose the color blue. And you see that the higher the value, the longer the bar. So let's go back to conditional formatting. Then let's clear the rules and try another one. So let's go to conditional formatting again. Then we go to color scales. This is how it works. Apply a color gradient to a range of cells. The color indicates where each cell value falls within that range. So you can choose either. Let me choose this. I believe you understand how it works better when you have smaller data, okay? So let's go back to conditional formatting. Then we go to clear rules. Before going to the next one, let me increase this with small. Then let's go back to conditional formatting. Then let's go to icon set. This is how it works. Choose a set of icons to represent the values in the selected cells. So when I choose this, you see those icons on your figures. Okay. Let me just go over each. Have you seen? See. So turn on the one you want to set. Uh, then we have the flag ones too. For the bar one, the higher the value, the full the bar will be. For the star one also, the higher the figures, the more the star will become full. And then this two, same idea. And this also. Okay. But let's go back to the conditional formatting drop down menu. You can actually set a new rule. Or you can go to manage rules to create, edit, delete and view all conditional formatting rules in the workbook. Okay. You can select all the months together and do them once. That is from January to December. To do that, you just select the first part. Then you scroll down to the ending part of December. Then you hold on the shift key and then click the last one here. You see that I've been able to select all together. So you can go to the conditional formatting and set any rule that will make meaning to you. Okay. In the next lesson, we will look at charts. Thank you.